In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to show two columns of text on a page in a Shopify store. Most Shopify themes um, do not come with that ability built in, so I'm going to go over um, an easy way to do that by just copying and pasting some simple code. Uh, this is the page that we are going to be working on. As you can see, it's currently, uh, we have four paragraphs and it's just a single column of text um, spanning the full width of the page here. Um, in order to show two columns, first of all we're going to do a quick edit with the CSS of your theme. Um, I'm doing this uh, tutorial in the new Shopify 2 admin. Um, if you're still using Shopify Classic, which is the old version of Shopify, um, this will still work. It will look a little bit different, but um, you can still follow along. Um, so to find the CSS that we need to edit, we need to go to the sidebar here, Themes. Um, if you're using Classic Shopify, you'll find the Themes button up in the upper right corner up here. Um, and you'll click on Themes, then we'll go to our Published Theme, and we need to click on the Template Editor. So here we have all the files for our theme, and we're going to go down to the Assets folder, and click on that, and then we need to um, find the style.css.liquid file. The, the name of this file will vary depending on which theme you're using, but it will always end in .css.liquid. Um, we don't want to edit the checkout.css.liquid. Um, that's for just the checkout process. So find the CSS file, um, it will probably be named style or styles or something like that, um, although that will depend on which theme you're using. So we'll click on that and to avoid um, getting in the way of any of the uh, default CSS here, I'm just going to scroll down to the very bottom of the page and then click enter a few times to uh, give us some room and um, and next we need to copy and paste the code from the uh, tutorial on ecommercepulse.com and I'm just going to pull that up here. Uh, this is the code that we'll be um, copying and pasting. If you are not viewing this on ecommercepulse.com you can um, go there and just search for two, two columns of text in Shopify and you'll find this post. So I'm going to grab this code, and then I'm going to copy it. If you're on a Mac, you can hit Command-C, or if you're on a PC, Control-C, and that'll copy it to the clipboard. Um, or you will you should be able to copy it by going to the Edit menu of your browser. And then I'll go back to the CSS file, and I'll paste. You can paste by hitting Command-V on a Mac, or Control-V on a PC. And there we have our CSS copied in, and we'll hit save. Next we need to go to the page editor of the page that we want to show two columns on. So I've created this page, sample page with two columns. <clears throat> in order to um, divide it into two columns, we need to click on this button here to show HTML and here we can see the paragraphs. Um, each paragraph is wrapped in these HTML tags um, that, that just tells it where the beginning and the end of each paragraph are. Um, I'm going to show the first two paragraphs in the left column and the second two paragraphs in the right column. So to do that I'm going to pull up my tutorial again. And here we have <clears throat> the uh, the code for the left column and I'm just going to copy the first line um, since I already have the content on the page. So I'll just select this line, hit copy, then I will paste it right there. And then I'll copy the next line. This goes after the content. Copy that. And then I'll paste this after the second paragraph ends. I'll paste it right there. And then we will repeat that for the second column. Copy and 
paste. And the second column here also includes this other line of code. Um, include this just to <clears throat> make sure that um, the uh, alignment of the columns is, uh, well, one of the columns is floated to the left and one is floated to the right. Um, that's a CSS term. Um, and we just need to include this to make sure that the left and right alignment of the columns isn't interfering with the rest of the page. <clears throat> so I'll copy those two lines, go back to my page, and paste it here at the end. And once we've done that, we'll hit save. And now let's look at the page, hit refresh. And you can see that it's now divided the text into two columns. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, if anything isn't working, um, sometimes what happens is after we add that HTML and we go back and edit the text in the regular page editor, <clears throat> um, the page editor will sometimes mess up the HTML that we pasted into the page. So if something happens and it's no longer showing correctly as two columns, then just go back to the HTML editor and make sure that um, this code is still in place. And that should fix it.